It's one of the world's most recognized brands, but for more than a decade, the Trump Organization has been unable to secure trademarks necessary to use the brand on all kinds of products in China. That changed this week when China's trademark office granted 38 new trademarks that could allow for expansion into the coveted Chinese business market for everything from hotels to golf clubs. What I can tell you is that China's trademark authorities have always given equal protection to legitimate rights for trademark holders from China and abroad. Before being sworn into office, Donald Trump passed control of his business to his sons, who have since opened a hotel in Canada and a golf resort in the United Arab Emirates. But President Trump refused to fully divest from his business empire that includes the luxurious Trump Hotel just one block from the White House. Trump has assured Americans he would not be a part of any new foreign deals. I have a no conflict of interest provision as president. Still, Trump's top advisor, Kellyanne Conway, has been reprimanded for promoting Trump's daughter, Ivanka's clothing line from the White House. Congressional Democrats are calling on the Justice Department to investigate whether or not the Chinese trademarks violate U.S. law, specifically something known as the Emoluments Clause, barring officials from receiving anything of value from a foreign government. They argue that with Trump maintaining interest in businesses like Trump Hotel, a room rented by a foreign government could be a violation. But some analysts say the problem isn't necessarily a legal one, but one of perception. You need to be above suspicion if you want to dispel any kind of cynicism or, or uh, uh, idea that you are acting other than in the interest of the United States or in the interest of the office that you're occupying. Since being elected president, the cost of a membership at Trump's private club in Florida has doubled, raising concerns Trump may be profiting from his presidency. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.